Hello, and welcome once again to Paul Quest. This time, it's Paul Quest V. The next mutation, apparently. Alright. Here we go again. This, uh... I have no idea what to expect here. I mean, we did time travel in Space Quest 4. So, like, where can it go from there? But, uh, I'm excited. Old Roger and I have been through a lot. Saved the world a few times. I mean, well, saved, saved the galaxy, I guess. I don't know. I guess we didn't save the world. In fact, in some cases, I believe we were responsible for the world being destroyed. Or a couple of planets, possibly. But, you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Which is the world in this case, in the galaxy in this case. Maybe? I don't know. That's an old saying. All right, let's do this. See introduction. Space Quest 5. Ooh, so fancy. Very Star Trek y intro. Roger Wilco in The Next Mutation. Do -do -do. So I believe, um, I did a quick looking up on this, and I believe, weirdly enough, this game does not have uh, uh, digital voices. It is, it is not a voiced game. Four was voiced and six was voiced, but five is not. So there you go. Captain's Log, SCS Excalibur, Stardate 2709.67. Fleet Admiral Roger Wilco, commanding. The Excalibur is on course to investigate the mysterious disappearance of several ships in the uncharted region of space known as the Menudo Triangle. I no doubt have been selected for this mission due to my great achievements as military leader and matchless diplomatic skills. I go forward with total confidence in my ship and my crew, yet I am vaguely uneasy. I cannot put ma memories of traveling to the future and meeting my son out of my mind. That was weird. Each night, my dreams are haunted by the image of the woman he said would one day be my wife. I know she's out there, somewhere. But that's not important right now. The fate of trillions rides in the decisions I may have to make in the next several hours. As captain of the Star Confederacy's proudest flagship, I must follow the supreme guideline. To boldly go when no man had the... Wait, no, no. To bravely traverse, where no creature has traversed the... No, that's not it. Ah, uh, skip it. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Looks like he's perfected the Kirk lean. Admiral. Strike ships coming in at point three five. Auga, auga, auga. Shields up! Battle stations! Lock weapons! Neutron beams locked! Proton torpedoes armed! Tactical! Fire neutron beams! Helm! Hard to port! Man. Cadet Virgo, what are you doing? What in the name of the Seven Star Cluster are you doing in the bridge simulator? Get your sorry carcass out of there and get back to class where you belong, space cadet. Wah, wah. And if I catch you in there again without permission, I'll have you tossed out of the academy so fast you'll get warp disorientation. Oh, Roger. Simulation terminated. Well then. His illusions of a spacefaring grandeur cruelly shattered by Captain Quirk. 
quirk. Roger Wilco exits from the bridge simulator into the hallways of the Star Confederacy Space Academy, where he has enrolled himself in an attempt to realize his lifelong dream of becoming a starship captain. The last several months have not been easy on our hero, what with having to juggle time between skipping classes, snoozing through lectures, and spending long moments considering the implications of actually opening a textbook. But our fearless former sanitation engineer has stumbled resolutely past these obstacles, pursuing his goal with unwavering determination, blissfully unaware that fate is about to hurl another spitball in his direction. Oh, Roger. Man, you think his, like, on-the-job experience would count for something. Because he's got that up the wazoo. In some cases, literally. Alright, what do we got here? This hallway is one of the four in Circle the Academy landing bay. Students, faculty, and members of the Star Confederacy staff use them to travel from place to place within the station. Aging behemoth has outlived its intended lifespan several decades and will soon be handing for the scrapyard. Me. That's it. Starcon Register lists your slips as personal launch of Ambassador Beatrice Wankmeister from the G6 Quadrant. You dimly recall hearing your name once before and an effort to remember anything further results in nothing more than a storm of misfired brain synapses and a dull headache. Not the brightest tool in that, whatever. An alpha class strike fighter from the colony worlds. This baby has it all. Speed, maneuverability, and F5 power to blast the part of combat. Too bad you'll never even get within shouting distance of one in your natural lifetime. What is this? Panel. I wish to poke at you, panel. Oh, map directory isn't working. Ground shading, texture mapping, and ray trace. They are mocking us. Or me. And by extension, you. Janitorial closet. I love janitorial closets. Oh. Janitorial closets are like my second favorite type of closet. What is this? Deltan frigate from the G6 quadrant. Starcon Academy. A sleek corvette called Lady Plus Bucker. Reserved for the Academy Commandant's exclusive use exclusively. Recently, several freshmen were disciplined for scandalously altering the ship's name as a cadet initiation prank. Three man fighter was captured by the from the dread, dreaded pirates of Pestilon during the their daring attempt to escape the confines of Space Quest 3. Yay! Technological earring engineer. Ergonomically designed state of the art personal access corridor. What? Decorative. I wonder where I'm supposed to be going. I'm supposed to be going to class, right? What is this? Cargo freighter? Clorox 2. <laughs> Current record for number of ships wrecked stands at 3, which is currently held by Roger. Yay! Notable instance where he totaled a ship without even leaving the hangar. Room A. Some kind of meeting going on. Let's just go to the restroom. I 
Wait, I have two types of talking? Interesting. I wonder what that means. Oh. Hello, nosy people. What's this? It's belong to the two guys from Andromeda. Oh. It's 10,000 Buckazoid tab in the Academy Lounge. Whoopsie. Sleek little beauty is yours. Four for 10,000 Buckazoids. Tile 1555 Good Cars. Hello, fellow students. It's a lock locker. Do I have anything in my just boxes of it? How many buckazoids do I have? I don't have uh, lick and stuff anymore. Eh, I poke you. Academy's classrooms. Spark on aptitude test. That's where I gotta go. So what's <laughs> for sale items? Ah, that's a bulletin board. I'm late, Professor. The start on aptitude test is today. Go! Oh dear. I should probably save. I haven't killed myself yet. Which is very concerning to me. What's that? Come down to you after class? Uh, yep, okay. I can't save right now. Grown Crow is commanding Nova Okay. Can't save them. Find themselves face to face with three Korak battle cruisers. Ooh. I can look at other people's stuff. Yep, yep. Beam over a pick you up bouquet. Apparently. When you encounter an alien ship for the first time, you should immediately open fire with every weapon at your disposal. Broadcast Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. Beam your entire crew over the ship as a gesture of goodwill. B and then A, none of the above. I mean, I'm gonna say, I would like to say B and then A. Dull and stodgy. This guy's super smart, that guy's dumb. Let's copy from the smart guy. Bottom line. None of the above. Alright, weirdo. Before beaming down an unexplored planet, for the first time, you should check to make sure that your seatbelt is fastened and trade tables are secured in the upright locked position. Your fly, your life insurance coverage, the 
Fitzer valve in your auction mask, the planet's atmospheric readings. I think it's the last one. Depends on whether these are like true. Yeah, last one. Okay. You're moving on an alien planet with no weapons, and a killer android is out for your blood. Oh man, I know how to do this. Gather base ingredients to make gunpowder and fashion a cannon from vines and sticks, stuff a banana in its exhaust pipe, drop a big rock, roll in mud, climb a tree, flap your arms wildly and scream tweet tweet at the top of your lungs in order to mimic the main behavior of the ruby-throated Acturan spline falcon as a diversionary tactic. What? I can't do any of the stuff that I actually did. I did this! How annoying. And it's not looking up. Third one. Drop a big rock on the robot and shout hasta la vista, baby. Can do. You're an EVA with a partner and you notice his face turning blue and he's clutching wildly at the throat. This is a sign that he will soon be a new partner. And a burst of creative insight has created a new creative insight has created a new dance called the moonwalk. Suffering from vitamin deficiency and needs to eat more leafy green vegetables. Fell for the old golf ball in the air hose trick. A and D. Uh, could be A and D. Yeah. To ensure your crew's microwave meals are heated adequately and evenly on board your ship, you should wrap everything in aluminum foil, cook each meal at their maximum power setting for 45 minutes, live space varmint in each meal so you can easily determine when it's done. Huck the thing and settle for roasting wieners on the maneuvering jets. Inject radioactive plutonium isotope into each piece of food when it glows, it's ready. Ooh, I like that last one. Also, we're roasting wienies on the maneuvering jets. Really? You're supposed to put a live space varmint in? Okay. Maybe that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I hope I'm copying off the wrong, off the, off the right test. If Grebe leaves the Crab Nebula at 3200 GST and travels at 975 million ZPM, how long will it take him to reach the planet Davacon 5 if he has solar wind at his back? Never the neutron star at the center of the Crab Nebula is so massive Grebe ship can never reach escape flow. Ooh, is it a trick question? It is. Haha, Trixie. How fast light travel through a vacuum? Very, 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 very fast. I mean, that's true. D is also true. Theoretically. Really? D is the answer? Oh, that's what he answered? I don't know, I'm starting to think that might, that guy might not be the smartest thing. Which is an example of a fuzzy boundary. Area of space between two planetary bodies where a small third object is not clearly under the gravitational influence of either. Event horizon a supermassive black hole. Receding hairline gives way to bare scalp. Point at which the marginal utility of trying to squeeze the last bit of toothpaste from the tube is offset by the opportunity cost of going to store to buy a new one. These are all examples of that. Actually, the true one. Six week company mad manual molecular reintegration bypass on a standard transporter. You should I feel like I should actually probably remember some of these. Reverse the phase polarity of the interface grid, jiggle the handle, pray ferviently. Reverse the phase polarity of the interface grid. I feel like I should probably remember that. Let's see if I do. That's over already. I super, super duper cheated. Yes, sir. I agree that cleaning the academy crest is appropriate punishment for me late to class. I'll get right on it. Ugh. 
test. I wonder how I did on the test. Okay. Hey guys. I'm your buddy, Roger Wilco. Man, you guys are not the friendliest. Oh, here's some new guys. Hello, fellow people. Do these guys not hate me? No. Nobody likes me. Ah! So I've got to clean the crest. Scribomatic. What else we got here? Safety cones. Yoink. <laughs> Nicely done, Roger. I suppose this works yet, does it? Guys, we be friends. Aww. Pokey, why does everyone hate me? I mean, I did just cheat off that test, but still. Three clearance alpha required beyond this point. Hey. To the east, take the main gravity lift to the main rotunda. Not a lot beyond this point now. Well, fine. Let's hit this way. Do, do, do. Mm, Excellent in imposing security being. Dull and dingy, because I can use a good scrubbing. Oh, I have to clean the floor. Right. Okay. Uh, last time I encountered a floor cleaner, it tended to eat me. Floor cleaner. Chromatic for sit and spin technology. Currently folded. Beep. Yo! Uh, okay. You hey, watch it with that thing. Oh, this doesn't seem very efficient. Hey, stop walking on my thingy. 
No, wait. Don't. I can't wait. I can't. Uh, hi. I'm just cleaning the floor. You buffoon! You can't even scrub the floor without a roadmap. It's obvious you're not academy material. What? Dr. Banks, you're taking a little trip. It's not a good trip, is it? Oh wait, I have to use the ready and welcome traffic. Okay, cool. That I can do. Haha! -ha. With this new amazing cone technology. What will they think of next? I wonder if these are like laser cones. Nope, just regular cones. Okay. Now you can do this and people won't walk all over my beautiful floor. <laughs> all right. They're all nice and shiny. That's looking real good. It's a little bit over there. So shiny. Wait, a little bit there. Boom. Yeah. That's the first time I've actually done janitorial work in one of these games, I think. Oh no, wait, I disintegrated all the... So the first time I've done janitorial work uh, not undercover. Ambassador Wankmeister. This institution is the pride of the Star Confederate, one of the best of its kind in the known universe. So nice to see our tax buckazoids aren't going completely to waste, Captain Quirk. We. We are Miss Wankmeister. This is the main rotunda. It is dedicated to a bunch of stuff. Excuse me, aren't you Roger Wilco, the man who foiled the Sarians some years back? Oh, why, yes I am, Ambassador Wankmeister. You seem to have space behind you. Suddenly it all comes rushing back. It's her! The woman from your holodisc in Space Quest IV. Now it's your big chance, Roger. Say something clever and romantic. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Way to sweep her back on her feet, Roger. Nice to see Evan lost her golden touch with women. You can see why my son didn't tell me that my mother was named Wankmeister. You're not all what I expected, Woko. See you around. That is an interesting one. Hold on a minute, cadet. Looks like you missed the spot. <laughs> you have some sort of palsy. Uh, sir, you better watch your step. The floor is really wet and just a little bit. Zounds! Slippery. Wow! Nice rug quirk. Is that toupee or roadkill? You're to pay for this, Winnico. You did that. I'm facing you on double secret probation. One more screw up, and your Space Academy days are over. 
Double secret probation? They had to invent a new type of probation just to put me on it. I guess that's something anyway. That thing is amazing. I'm gonna keep it forever. Jamie After clean Good cleaning me I wonder if the results of the test are out yet If my hey the frell oh this can't be good set scores Gordon F fail Einstein A fail Luco what what was that did it actually not matter whether I succeeded or not? As I was saying, Ambassador Wankmeister, we are in fairly remote installation and can't spare extra ships to launch the kind of operation you suggest. If we don't understand the potential ramifications of this problem, Admiral. If the sludge bandits continue to illegally dump toxic waste whenever and wherever they choose, the environmental consequences could be staggering. Look at me, I'm staggered. Entire planets could be devastated. Then you overstate the issue. Ambassador, even so, we have more than enough ships on patrol to put a stop to these a sludge bandits, as you call them. Look, Ambassador, we have top Dutch sh ship stuff with the finest crews in the galaxy. Starcon accepts only the best and brightest for fleet training. <laughs> hey, is that... Hey, Roger. You look, Rughead! The illegal dumping is going to... on this sector right under your polyweave. Our patrols have located dumping sites on four planets in the G6 quadrant alone. Uh, this is made from real hair. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, I'd like to hear more about these dumping, alleged dumping sites. Perhaps over dinner this evening. Yes, the best time to talk about trash. Uh, hmm. Starting to get the feeling. Well then, that settles it. Captain Quirk, you shall go to the sites and investigate Ambassador Wankmeister's allegations. I'll be going along in his observer. Admiral, uh, I think having a best one would be a good idea. I'm sure the two of us can develop a productive working relationship. Ugh. Mind you, I am an official representative of the people of Quadrant G6 with full ambassadorial status, and as such, should not be subject to... Now, Ambassador, I'm sure Captain Quirk will do everything necessary to resolve the situation. There's no need for you to hinder him on this mission. This is my system and my people we're talking about here. We're going to go on that ship, and that's all there is to it. Case closed. We are adjourned. Good day, gentlemen. Whew. All righty. Don't mess no. with Wankmeister. <laughs> oh. Uh, hi, everybody. Way to go, Raj. Another sterling performance. I didn't do that. Totally biffed. I'll never make captain. 
It's too bad, cadet. How'd you make out? That's the other guy I could have copied off, I think. Hey, everybody. I, uh... So there's the thing with the little mouse to mess with the scores. So did it matter that I cheated? Could I have just done anything and it would have worked? Good book on me. I'm administration where I just graduated and proving a perfect score. Not in the high, entire history of Starcon Academy as it could achieve such high marks, you should be proud. What about the guy I copied off of? <laughs> You're to be in training for Captain C aboard our finest star cruiser. Captain Quirk will post your assignment. You done the Academy A crowd. Did I do better than the guy? I guess because of the the mouse in the system, I did better than the guy who copied off me. I'm awesome. So, having undergone an extensive weekend captain's training seminar on the planet Oakhurst, Roger is shuttled to his new command, the SCS Eureka. This will be great. That's not a starship, that's a garbage scow! Figures. Oh. Hey, garbage cows need captains too. You know, sir, I am Subcorporal Drill, your nav, nav and weapons officer on the heap. Flows the name, and I'm your comm specialist, grade four. Hello, crew, I'm your new captain. Commanding officer, Captain Roger Wilco. I know some of you may not be excited to be serving on the Eureka as I am, but we're promised this. We're going to be the best darn garbage scow in the entire confederation. Yeah! Let's scow that garbage. Yeah, all that good stuff. This is not just a job, it's an aventure. So motivational. Whoa. I think that was actually a clip from... <laughs> it was the chair, really. That was actually a clip from The Simpsons. So we got a live... Looks like we got a live one here, Flo. You said it, rule. Whee! Wow. Alrighty. These are progressing very quickly here. Captain! Who doesn't know how to spell Captain? Okay, so, uh, what do we do as Captain? Wait, let's look around. The guts of the Eureka's engineering section. What do we got over here? Automated computer control, critical functions. Eureka's communication functions for intraship, intership, ship to ground, subsurface, or subspace are all handled from this workstation. This is all good stuff. Awesome command chair. The chair. An inaudible subsonic hum emanates from the machinery in the ceiling of the bridge. Smoke detector. It's important. Auxiliary smoke detector. Equally important. Or, I guess, slightly less important, but still very important. 
hello. Oh. <laughs> Just a second here. Apparently I just have a farting command chair. Just gonna have to deal with it. What do you want, sir? Since we're working together, I thought it'd be nice if we go need to know each other a bit. What's your previous posting? What happy set of circumstances. Accidentally fell out of the airlock without a spacesuit. If you says so. Hmm. Life stinks and it's all your fault. The hell? You're a man, right? Yes. Oh dear. I see. I'm not gonna be getting much out of flow, I guess. What was your previous posting? To the phlegma. Some important. I... You don't have to excuse flow. Sure, there's a bit of a problem dealing with male thorny fingers. She's not really that bad if you ignore her. How about you? My personal life is none of your business, sir. Yeah, it's a really, uh, friendly atmosphere. How long have you served? Well, monitors display status of various functions on the Eureka. What am I supposed to be? Do I have a mission at the moment? Poke. Happy job, you perform your job more efficiently. with engineering do not have a science officer speak with the engineering science self-destruct mechanism <laughs> all right all right all right it's gonna happen sooner or later might as well happen now <laughs> Bye. Fail safe function will prevent us from shut down once activated. Just to leave. Maybe I should have figured out how to get out of here before I.
Cliffy's domain. Who the heck's Cliffy? Probably be working on trying to leave. I'm mostly just kind of curious right now. I want to take all the things. Fifty's gonna be so mad. the elevator to get to the pod. Ah. I feel like this ship self-destructing in the middle of the bay is going to be generally frowned upon. If he's favored pressure suit. I wonder who Cliffy is. Oh, I have an oxygen tank now. My buddies have taken the pod. Uh, hello? Well, only one thing to do. Why is that the one thing to do? Couldn't tell you. I feel like that was not the right move. Call me crazy, but I feel like hitting the self-destruct button as my first action as a uh, captain was not the right move. Um, but it's interesting that I can do that. Anyway, but to find out what the right move is, I think you'll have to come back next week for the next episode of Paul Quest 5. Will we ever get out of this hangar? I hope so. I really, really do. Uh, will we travel to far off places with this garbage scow? Probably. Will we get garbage there? Maybe. We will see. But whatever happens, it'll happen next week on Paul Quest 5. <laughs>